Hello, Rupert. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I'm from the Campaign to End Loneliness, and we were founded in 2011 as a campaign to raise awareness of the negative physical, emotional, and social impacts that loneliness can have on your well-being. Um, we have a campaign called Be More Us, which is to try and encourage people to make more meaningful connections as a way to tackle loneliness, because there is a huge stigma attached to people admitting that they're lonely. So one way for people to try and connect as a way to try and tackle their own loneliness is to set up these kind of chat benches like this and to come and have a conversation um, and to make those small moments of connection because our research has shown that they can make a huge difference to someone who is feeling lonely. Well, it's a brilliant initiative and loneliness is one of those things that doesn't announce itself. Mm. Uh, you know, nobody has a sign on their head saying, I am lonely but it's something I feel which is cross-cutting, no matter what social class you are, old or young, rich or poor, it affects yeah. a heck of a lot of people. Uh, I think in surveys, it's more than you'd think, and that's people who admit to it, because it's you know, one of these uh, maybe socially unacceptable things uh, yeah. to fess up to. Uh, people associate it just with OAPs or whatever, but uh, at any age, you can feel loneliness and insecurity, and it's good that we talk about these things and that initiatives like this encourage people to sort of share their day and experiences with each other so we can banish loneliness. Um, I know that my uh, late colleague Joe Cox um, was a big champion of these causes and I think there are studies that show that um, isolation and loneliness is the same as smoking cigarettes, which we all know the science. 15 cigarettes of. a day. Is that it? Yeah, 15 yeah, a it's day. Shocking. I mean, yeah. So. yeah. Again, it's one of these things like mental illness, the wider issues like that that aren't really talked about. They're a bit yeah. unspoken, um, but they're a real problem and, and we need to deal with it. Yeah, and obviously there are so many other things that need to happen in order to really tackle loneliness at a fundamental, at societal level. Mm. But there is something that we can all do as individuals, and that is to try and create those small moments of connection with each other, whether that's smiling at someone on the street, getting to know your neighbours, sort of chatting to someone in the park, or even stopping to have a chat at one of these happy chat benches, because those small moments really do matter to someone who might be feeling lonely, and they can make a huge difference. Yeah, definitely. We live in an age where everyone feels hassled, everyone feels that they're sort of time poor but it doesn't take much of an effort to, as you say, check up on your neighbours if you haven't seen the elderly woman next door for a while. Exactly. Um, offer her a cup of tea or whatever, give her a knock and see what's going on, or him, maybe a he. Yeah. Um, and, you know, again, at lunchtime or something, Walpole Park, just around the corner from here, ideal yeah. spot to have a loneliness bench. Um, in fact, when I cycled up to see you. I passed two other benches and was trying to work out which is the loneliness one. Yeah. And then I saw the camera and worked <laughs> out which one it was. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Walpole is the perfect park for something like this because as a park, it is a free community space. It's accessible for everyone. Um, and it, it is a meeting place for many people as well. I'm part of Ealing Eagles in Ealing, oh, wow, and right. we actually meet by that happy to chat bench that we've set up outside. Mm. So when I realized it was gonna be set on Ealing Green, I thought, well, that's amazing because that is already a community space and it is accessible to everyone. So it's great to then have something there that might just sort of make people think, oh, I haven't, you know, sparked any moments with connection with people recently what can i do whether you're experiencing loneliness or not yourself what can i do to try and help tackle loneliness in society and sometimes it is just as simple as saying hi and stopping for a chat